Welcome, welcome very, very much to Conversations. A pleasure to welcome to the program a dear, 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 one more time, dear friend of mine. I stop on time when I tell you. Oh, I thought you would sit no, it. I didn't give you the five seconds. Okay, I may clear it. You give me the five seconds, okay. I thought she'd given me the five seconds. Oh, See, that yeah. looks good. Look, we got the yeah, cups off to the side. I think that's they're good. floating. See, because yes. they're just in the that's picture. That's amazing. That's a miracle. All right. Welcome, welcome, very, very much to conversation. And this guest uh, here is one of the dearest friends I've had in my whole adult life, and that's. Um, Beth Lamont, and Beth Lamont is a uh, peacenik, I would say, fair I'm to say, and yes. she's the widow, she'll come up in the graphics, of Corliss Lamont, a gigantic figure in terms of the peace movement and concern for bringing about as possible a, a world that serves the interests of all the people rather than just a few, and Beth, so, in, so ha happy to welcome you to the conversations, so uh, happy to welcome you to the set. What a delight. What a, what delight, a delight, my delight. darling, oh, my. to welcome you to the set. Yeah. Well, um, you're doing such a wonderful job bringing <coughs> information to the people, and I, I love that. Well, welcome you know, to M&N, too. You know, uh, that, uh, hooray yeah. for them. Yeah, hooray right. That's them. really good. Now, share with us, Beth, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, your own background, and a little bit, weave that in, and then you're meeting with this giant, uh, Corliss yes, Lamont. Yes, yes. Share your own background a bit, and then Corliss, and All let's right. talk and celebrate his memory. I right. remember being uh, in, uh, meeting him before he passed and yes, everything, yes. but Col the, the uh, Lamont, uh, the, Ma the Lamont observatory. Doherty. So Lamont Doherty. Or yeah, sense. Lamont Doherty. Yes. But share with us your background, mm -hmm. and then weave it in with, uh, with uh, Corliss. Okay, okay, please. Well, I'm San Francisco, and um, my claim to fame is I walked across the Golden Gate Bridge the day it opened. No kidding. Yeah. When it, was that? That 1937. 1937. Uh -huh. My right. dad was an engineer. Yeah. No cars. You remember that sound? Ooga, ooga. I do. <laughs> is that a foghorn? Is that? Is that a foghorn? <laughs> well, the, or we used to have foghorns also, but the cars used to. Yeah, have that's that right sound. on the cars. Right. Yeah. But no cars were allowed that way, only people walking. Really? Yes. Really? Yeah. 1937. Wow. Right. Okay. You remember that? Oh, I sure remember. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good for you. That's good. So yeah. that's my claim to fame. Yeah. And, I was and what was the family setting like for you then? Um, my dad was an engineer. He was working on the bridge. Yeah, here, why and that's you why. Put this over like this. Oh, sorry. Okay, there. Yeah, uh -huh. go ahead. Yeah. Um, but um, he was an engineer, yeah. Uh, we, our family was pioneers. They came in the gold rush days in the 1800s. Yeah, so right. from uh -huh. two pioneer families. Yeah, uh -huh. And um, um, were they I, peace I and oh, so forth? Yes, they were. And I chose my parents well. <laughs> oh my goodness, did I ever! Yeah. There's a little vignette that I love to tell. Mother is, um, we're walking across Haight Street, and people may not know, H-A-I-G-H-T. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I Haight hate Ashbury. to say Haight Ashbury, From the right. 60s, well, yeah. this was Haight Fillmore, mm -hmm. and we're walking, it was called the Tenderloin District, yeah. a lot of bars and, yeah. you know, They have that in Chicago, people. too, I think. Did yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. Well, um, walking along, and there was a person, long hair, cinched up coat, walking kind of flouncy like this, got up in front of that person. He's got a beard and a mustache. Yeah, right. And I'm yeah. saying, Mommy, Mommy, <laughs> that guy is acting like a girl. Right. And you know what? I mean, he beautiful mother, yeah. my mother, she could have scared me and she could have said, oh, He's one of those watch out for people like. She didn't. She right. said, It's all right, darling. Maybe he feels like a girl. Oh, right. <laughs> Boy, you had some good training didn't I? at your knee of your mother. Right. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. And so they yeah. were loving people. Uh -huh. And I grew up pretty much in the. Christian atmosphere, right. the golden rule, and yeah. and did you go to college others. and so forth? Oh yeah, and where did, did you that. what did you study and everything? Um, well, or actually, um, and I when did you pick up this strong adherence to the idea of peace and justice, <laughs> which seems to motivate <laughs> just, you just very my, mightily? Yeah, right, just mm. lifetime of struggle. Yeah. I have a big family. Yeah. I'll, I'll show you my kids. Okay, by all means, da -da, if you want. Da -da, okay, da -da. let me hold it up if you want to try and come in. Could you? Could you right. come in on this if I hold it or no? Or maybe she oh. can't. I don't know. So, but uh, well, I, whoa, there okay. we go. Okay. There you go. Yeah, okay. 
All righty. You want to let them know is that is yeah. that the family? Yeah, these are these yeah. are my kids. Those I have, are your kids, your I, children. I have seven sons and four daughters. My Lord, you yeah, were prolific, girl. Friend. Yeah. Well. Yeah. And Who's the little yeah. baby? Uh, I believe that is hard to uh, keep track of it's them. It's hard to keep. It. <laughs> 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 you keep getting more. But here's what here, the, a, on the other side. Okay. Yeah. Here's, here's another, 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 mother, another another my motherly mother, loving my mother and picture. Dad. Yeah. That's my mother and dad. Uh huh. Yes. That's your mother and uh -huh. dad. Yeah. And these are all. That's your mother who had the good sense to tell you the right thing when you met that person. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Yes, they were well, that's really a good liberal. photograph. That's more loving. recent, I guess. Yeah. No, that was older. Oh, that Much was older. Uh, yeah. It's a nice, good. Yeah. Somebody had a good camera. Huh? I think so. Yeah, yeah. That's good. But um, so anyway, I was, um, you know, part of the. Um, Oh, what was it called? Oh, make love, not war. Oh, yeah, the Kate 60s. Ashbury. You, you, right. Uh -huh. you, you caught not. Did you go to? Did you get to the big festival in 1960? No, down? no. I was busy in the baby business. <laughs> Your baby business. But, well, having babies. Having babies oh. and working mm -hmm. as a nurse. Oh. I've been a nurse's aide most of my life. Oh, really? Is yeah. that true? Yeah, you were yeah. a nurse's aide. Right. Uh -huh. Good for you. What's a nurse's? You help um, nurses. Obviously, it would be but. like an, a licensed practical nurse. Uh -huh. but I was so old. I mean, it was so long ago. No yeah. licensing was even necessary. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Right. It, it was patient care. Right. I kept saying I'd be so wealthy if I had a dollar for every bedpan <laughs> I'd ever served. <laughs> yeah, that'd be. Good. Well, now tell us. Okay. Now let's let's get down to it and everything. Well, how did you? When did you come to New York? And how did you come to meet well, Corliss Lamont? All right. Well, I was inspired. Major guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just. Yeah. I wish he. Oh God. Yeah, he, he was here a real now. gentleman. Yes. Yeah. And his. His vision lives on. Yes. But back, I was in Phoenix, Arizona at the time, and um, Sesame Street was brand new. Wow. This, this yeah. was in the seventies. Who put that on? Sixty seventies. Associated with that. Right. Yeah, I forget her I, name. I now. think she was actually from Arizona, and yeah, that was yeah, one yeah, of the yeah. inspirations. It was a great program. Yeah. Right. It, can, uh -huh. it lives. Yeah. It's still. Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh, this is really great for little kids. Yeah. You know, uh -huh. inspiration and and future, fast-paced learning, and all that. Right. And I'm saying, but what about the teenagers? Yeah. You know, I'd been growing up and bringing up a lot of teenagers. And in your so family? My kids. Your my, kids? my own kids. You had a you had a tribe. A tribe, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And yeah. anyway, so yeah. I was thinking we need to have a program called Drop In. Drop in. Drop in. Rather than drop to, out. Right. Yeah. And that would be the whole focus of it. You know, yeah. to inspire kids and talk about futures and yeah. and um, pos jobs. You were, you were always a peacenik, right? Always, always, always. And the family was? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I right. think so. But so that was, I went to Arizona State University. Okay. Uh, and my field was audiovisual education, a well, whole new thing. Well, you're right in thing. plain case here right. in Manhattan Neighborhood Network. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And so... Um, um, I I tell that my youngest son yeah. Tim yeah. Um, was taking over the family mortgage payments, uh, okay. and that freed me. And I made a big speech. I said, "I've been my parents' child, husband's wife, children's mother, yeah. and now I'm on my own. Now I'm going to be out, me. World, Watch I'm out, world! Watch out! Here I come. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, right. and that's what it was about. That's not the first person so, who's taken that attitude. Right. Yeah. And um, the equipment was large, great big deck over my I shoulder, remember, and I the remember. great big oh, camera. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Remember those days? Did you have a yeah. Umatic deck? You know, the great big three quarter. Yes, deck three. And all, that? all my tapes were. I didn't were know you were pioneering in oh, that. Oh, yeah, you really? know it. Uh -huh. Yeah. And so I had the opportunity. Well, I've got a You're cable. You're a video pioneer. Well, a hey, cable show right here. It airs on Sunday at 3 o'clock. Yeah. Here and now. Yeah, here uh, and now. It's great. That's yeah, here yeah. and now as opposed to hereafter. That was the point of that. Larry helped you, didn't he, some? Larry Gale? Uh, Larry Gale. And, and, and Joe, Joe Friendly. Friendly. Isn't he oh, wonderful? Joe Friendly. Joe Friendly is such Friendly a great guy. Yeah. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful, yeah. wonderful. Yeah. He's keeping the program. Going. Yeah, good for him. But, yeah. So I came to interview the famous Corliss Lamont. You came to interview him for your program. Where was the program? Was in New York? Yeah. Right you had here. come to New York. I had then, come to New own. York. Yeah. Right, uh -huh. And you picked and up on the video thing. Right. Over. Okay. And um, so Corliss Lamont is the author of The Philosophy of Humanism. Yeah. And actually, Beautiful I guy. thought, yeah. yes. 
And I thought I had invented humanism yeah. when I was pushing away from traditional religion. Yeah. This conundrum, yeah. if mm -hmm. there is a powerful being yeah. that sees all, knows all, yeah, and right. can control all, and allows hideous, horrible injustices, injustices yeah. Yeah. it yeah. seems like that being would have to be a fiend, yeah. not a loving protector. So how did and you deal with that dilemma? Pushed away, pushed, pushed away. away. Pushed away yeah. But what you keep is the all the good things. Mm -hmm. Do unto others, yeah. you know, the golden yeah. rule, yeah. and uh, don't lie, cheat, steal, all of the... Be a good know, citizen. Be yeah. a good citizen. Yeah. Yeah. Care. Right. Yeah. And so I was... Um, a peacenik. A, well, In more than politics, that. yeah. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. That, that came as part of it. Um, because I... the. The ancient, uh, you know, in the childhood of humankind, yeah. we had no history. We had no science. That's true. We had no telescopes. <laughs> Not until Copernicus, yeah. Right. We had to get the lenses right. and everything. And yeah. so they did what children do. They made up the stories. Yeah. You know, what is going on in the heavens? Yeah. You know, Grandpa, tell me. Yeah, right. Tell yeah. me what. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> that's the way it is, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah. And uh, so it was all oral histories. Yeah. Right. And then somebody began to pen it into parchment paper, yeah. etched it into stone, and yeah. it became a, solidified. A it became religion. No, religion. And I think the word religio means to hold. Is it really yeah, I think it religio? Means to hold. It, uh -huh. it might be Latin or something. I'm not uh -huh. sure, but it means to hold. Yeah. yeah, the religions. Uh -huh. So you were but looking we were askance at some of the. Well, doing my pushaways. Push your ways of ways. religion then? Well, Were you religiously inclined in oh your yes. justice? Well, as I was a little like kid. Like Jesus I, said, uh, yeah. take care of the least among you. And All of that. Or yeah. was roundly ignored, we know, by the Roman legion. Right. Yeah. yeah. But um, I, you know, learned the Christian values. But I was kind Christian of Christian values. Yeah, yeah. But I was okay. kind of a sassy kid, you know. I'm asking, where did God come from? Yeah. Well, we don't know. God always was. I, I wanted to know things. <laughs> yeah, see? I was so curious. Yeah. But the more we know, you know, now we have science, and now we know yeah. that we are part of a universality. I know. We are Earth people, yeah. Earth people. And yeah. I believe that we have evolved, and I hope to hell we're still evolving if we don't end I up in a mushroom-shaped cloud. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm we're worried about. Right, this, agree with this you experiment So you're a, you're a humanist, uh, well, really. Well, uh, that developed, yeah. and I said, uh -huh. you know, instead of... You, were, you, you should have met somebody who was a... You know, it would have been good for you to do with your video and everything and your background. It would have been good if you could have met somebody who was an honest-to-God humanist in order to help read uh, your new philosophy I I with uh, with greater depth. Yeah. Too bad you couldn't meet somebody. There was this guy, mm. Corliss Lamont. <laughs> he was the father of humanism yes. you happened to meet. Yes, that's It's a that's magic just, thing. That's it a was. Ma was it, it a magic meeting? It Did was. it feel that way to it, you, really? It really Isn't was. Isn't that grand uh -huh. when that happened? Well, I was, I was telling so, how... I wonder if it's rare. It'd mm. be wonderful it could be for every... Man, there's a woman, or for every person, there's a person, or whatever. Or a moment in time. And have time. a meeting where there's an absolute a moment in wonderful time. meeting and of minds. And I think technology and spirits, has something yeah. to do with it also. Yeah. yeah. So. But so tell us some more about him and everything in your well, meeting. But, but first of all, um, believing in evolution. Oh, this, yeah. Well, this, the ancients didn't have anything like this. No, and, they didn't have the and, knowledge to be able to have something. And, and, and Darwin, that was, people were just really askance and still afraid, you know, to think that we have descended well, the, from other beings, you know. God zapped yeah. us into, in, in made Adam and Eve, you know. Yeah. Well, that's part of the oral Well, those are part of the oral traditions living right. with, I guess people have an ability to ask those kind of questions. I'm not sure we were able to do that a few millennia back in the evolutionary we process. Yeah. They wouldn't have had the ability, wouldn't have the prefrontal cortex well, or the evolutionary right. capability to yeah. ask these kind of questions. Well, one of the things... I don't think, you know. I started getting such flack among my co-workers and uh, other people when uh, I was Are you still my, out east, I'm still, west, still or are, out are you west. back in New still York? Out, still, still out west. Still I'm developing the That's pre-Corliss. Pre uh, yes. 
Um, pre that's that's B, why I said I B, thought B C B C B C <laughs> yes. before Corlin. That's that's what <laughs> because I I thought I invented yeah. humanism. Oh, I see. Yeah. When when mm. people are saying, you don't believe in God. Yeah. And I said, well, I have my doubts. You know, yeah. I was very, very defensive. Yeah, yeah. I, I couldn't articulate it yeah. in a positive People way. People can feel those things so strongly. Yeah, I felt yeah, so right. intimidated. Yeah. And I, now I say, um, it, there's a long-standing spelling mistake. It's not G-O-D. It's G-O-O-D. Good. Get it? <laughs> good. Good. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. You know, never mind whether you're Muslim so you or Jewish or Catholic or what. things like that. Did right. You? Yeah. Uh -huh. That could be understood but by the human consciousness. That's it. And uh, that faculties we're all for in thinking it. Yeah. rationally. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. So um, believing that we have evolved and that we're in a moment, um, you know, in space and time that has never been before, you know, our well, knowledge, I, our I, I shared with you, I think we're at a time like that we were born into. I don't know if we're going to make it, you and I, but I think, yeah, we're in a time of I qualitative so. transformation yeah. and liberation, yeah. uh -huh. not only in political terms, uh -huh. which we talk about in the news all the time yeah. and everything, or in the traditional way of thinking, but in, 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 in evolutionary times. We're coming to too. a new relationship yeah. in the universe similar yeah. To it, the uh, punctuated equilibrium of the know, emergence of a new I, species. I think we've been in sort of an mm -hmm. adolescent age. Yeah, you right. You know, the uh -huh. muscular. Now we might get <laughs> to be creative intellectually. and and uh, But back to creating, um, thinking that I invented humanism. Yeah. The idea, uh, I'm saying, well, what do I believe? I don't want to be talking about negative and pushing away. What do I believe? I believe right. we have evolved and we have a responsibility. And I keep joking about the three R's. You know, R's, okay, read, let me see. Read and write and arithmetic. Read and write and arithmetic, that's but, their, their but R's. The, yeah, yeah. The, the humanists, yeah. I say reason, respect, and responsibility. Uh -huh. And those that's are my firm, firm. <coughs> and so I began to- Say them again, say the three. Yeah. Reason, yeah. respect, and responsibility, okay. and I think those are very, That's pretty very good important. guidance for I think a that ethical covers way of uh, probably, getting some yeah, thoughts down in, right. in the Re environment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and um, and then um, I came upon the, the philosophy of humanism just by accident. Well, you had, um, wait a minute. It, I, last time I had we're, you, we're big, you had a big porta pack up on your head or a three quarter <laughs> inch deck. Not you yet. Were gonna, you were going to introduce this guy in New York who was the Not father yet. of humanism, <laughs> and you had all these thoughts going on in your head. Man, you were ready I, for a meeting I with remarkable people. I prepared to be a partner to him. But you had prepared in your yeah, previous life. Right. Yeah. And one of the things in Arizona, have you ever heard of uh, Sheriff Joe, Joe Arpaio? I hear he's down there at the border. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway, yeah. that and was Mr. Trump that talks about. Yeah, yeah. That was part of um, the mil um, milieu, I guess. You were in it. Arizona for a yeah, while. Yeah, that's where I was. I, I launched from Arizona. You'd been and in San Francisco. Well, I raised you'd my moved kids. Around. In, I moved around with that yeah. tribe of people. They're your yes. family. Yes. There's yes. a lot that uh -huh. could be said hey, in that, but I, let's just move on. I, mean, yeah. I even used to That's drive a, a logging truck in yeah. uh, in er, in a big Oregon. You a drove big logging it? truck. You drove it? Yeah, I'm a driver. <laughs> I got a I got a I got a I got a, a ride. I hitchhiked down from Alaska one summer. I got a ride with a guy down in, in British Columbia. Uh, he had a truck that carried those big logs. Yes. That thing had 24 forward gears. Oh. 24 forward gears going up and down those roads. Have That's, you ever heard you of You drove a, 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 a lumbering a man's log, truck. Logging truck. You drove it? You know what it's I was scared to be in the driver's. <laughs> I mean, this. Uh, yeah. uh, the, and over. And no, I was you know scared to sit in the, yeah. in the not in the, pa in the passenger side. And you're talking about the gears. You know what 24 a, forward a, gears. A, a, a three-speed uh, brownie yeah. is that. It's a camera. No. <laughs> no, this was a low, low compound, compound. When you're going up a steep grade yeah. and you need more power and you're not moving the wheels very fast, but the that was one of the gears. That was one, of the, and you were driving the truck. I was driving. Did you the have truck. a pillow you sat on? You were just a little <laughs> a little thing, you know, driving. Um, it was a big truck. The one oh, when I had yeah. it was a great big truck, yeah, right. and it was really serious. Uh -huh. And they moved. Yeah. And I, g we were, we had to take a little nap with him was it, by the road. We had oh. come down from British. Oh Columbia, my goodness! And I happened to ask him, so what do you drive? What do you carry? Because there was big 
falls, you know, because there was forest and, and cliffs going down for thousands of feet and everything. Scary. And he, we we're going off to sort of take a quick nap or something. He said, liquid high oxygen and dynamite <laughs> often. With the, and it, oh, my gosh. I remember oh, I was yeah. very startled by that. But oh, that's another God. story. But you're in Arizona. Uh, uh, Arizona. I'm waiting for you okay. to get All to right. Corliss. Well, CB. well, well, well. Um, so I went to a political meeting about um, uh, how what we can do about this sheriff. Our, oh, Joe uh, Arpaio. Uh -huh. You were trying to support him, right? Ah, I'm making a joke. 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 Calm down. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, mm. and um, the meeting had been sponsored by uh, the Humanist Society oh, good. of Greater yeah. Phoenix. Yeah, okay. And there yeah. on the table mm -hmm. was a book, The Philosophy of Humanism. Wow. Take the book, help yourself. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, everything. Oh my I God. Thought. Everything. He stole everything from me. <laughs> no. Yeah. no, and I'm you joking. guys knew it all the time. Yeah, right, right. Okay, oh, it was like, that a, was, yeah, like it, a, an yeah, opening. Deja vu. Yeah, yeah right, it was yeah, so right. amazing. I don't but mean anyway. to pry. What around what age might you have been then? You know, maybe. Well, you know, let's see. Thirties or forties. Forties. Uh, Forties. Yeah, in your prime, really, in a sense. No, yeah. I have to be older than that. <coughs> I'm going to be eighty-eight right now. You are eighty-eight. Uh -huh. You're yeah. older than. <laughs> you're older than me. I didn't uh, know nobody's older, older than you. Than me. <laughs> Old man of the stars. Honey, I'm yeah. a nineteen twenty-nine model. I was born just before the stock market scratch wow. crashed. Boy, yeah. you carry yourself I was, well. Honey, I was screaming my what head off. What do you off. eat? I may have what caused it. How can you be so? You know, uh, present in everything at such an advanced age. Um, You're I an make, inspiration to us I all. I make soup, honey. Nothing you make a good soup? Soup. Nothing yeah. goes to waste. Really? You want to hear oh. a funny? Sure. I always like funny. Um, sure. Here lies make me laugh, girl. Okay. Here lies a utilitarian who longs for no heavenly home, but the way she hates waste, it might be in good taste to make a nice soup of her bones. <laughs> Make a nice soup of the bone. You of can my do bones. The, they, they used to have a thing in the, what do they call it? Mulligan stew or something? Or oh, yeah. Something was made with something. Uh, they'd say. So, so okay, so you were able to whip yeah. up a good soup. When well, did you meet Corliss? Well, you, got, you met him in right. the book. Okay. And you were doing video by right. then? And were I, you doing video when you were at Art Parlo in I, Arizona? That was simultaneous. I you was were doing learning. video. You yeah. started to I was inspired, up. right. <laughs> so, so you were a videographer when you came when to I New came York. To New York, uh -huh. and you and said, "Where is the man who wrote this book?" That's right. You were on a quest, and it's and like a movie. It, it is a great oh, movie. It, My it God, is, it is. Who would play you? Would and have to have uh, some gorgeous <laughs> movie star, you know. But you know, in, in an awakening, yeah. But That's it was stardom so, talk. Yeah. It was so amazing, mm. and he gave me such a wonderful, inspiring you know, message about the philosophy of humanism yeah. and the people's right to know mm. and protecting our civil liberties, all of these things that yeah. are just screaming yeah. right now. All the ethics, right, yeah. Right yeah. now. And I was just so thrilled. And um, I said, thank you so much. Thank you so much for your message. And he said, Do you know the Humanist Society? Yes. Are you part of the Humanist Society? Okay, but I, but I Mr. Was, I, Rafferty, you know him? Yes. John, uh -huh. Rafferty. John Rafferty. Do you go to those uh -huh. things? Um, w well, I'm not exactly. Um, one of my things is I am not an atheist. You're not an atheist? atheist. Well, I don't think, I don't I think, think John is. Uh, uh, I'm not sure, I, maybe. Yeah, uh, positive yeah. humanism. Mm. Uh, many of the people in the movement oh. are still doing their push of what. Oh, ah. oh. It's, it's okay. Thank it's you. okay. I'm here to yes. pick up <laughs> Thank after. You. Or here, don't lose Still. that. That left is in there, right? Do we show them that? Okay. No. Well, this is the book she was talking about. We may have shown her, but maybe you can come in tight on that. Okay. Whoa. There we go. Lefties are in their right minds. Beth Levant, Corliss Lamont, you might like socialism. That's Corliss it. That's the wrote. book you were talking about. Did Corliss. we show that before? But we I showed don't it think again. We, I don't well, know. Well, we showed we it. That's uh -huh. the book that inspired well, you in the Arizona. Other, here's the other part of it. Oh. This is Corliss Lamont. The There's child of Wall Street. Oh yeah, and he's from the yeah from. Uh, he was the socialism. child of Wall Street. Oh my God! Yeah, he got, it's not socialism. Yeah, he can was. I, can I read this? Or yeah, you, by you all means. Read, read this little bit right what here. What do you mean socialism? Ye gods, not socialism, not even on our doorstep. But look what we've got. Not only do we already have socialized militarism, socialized eighty sixty five percent of our budget is military, but now we have socialized capitalism. Is that we have to bail out the banks. Yeah, yeah, yeah right, right, right. So that's a quote from him, yeah. 
So let's get you on to the meeting with Mr. Corliss. Right. Okay? Well, that's what I was about to yeah, tell you. Do. I said, oh. Um, I want the Dr. rights to the film redo <laughs> of that. I want to know who's going to play you and who's going to play Corliss. It couldn't, can't be done. There's only one Beth um, Lamont, but go ahead. Well, Dr. Lamont, thank you so much for th the interview. I just really treasure this. And this will be disseminated. It's going to go this on This is TV. what you're talking to Corliss. I'm talking now. to Corliss. And then he said, wait a minute. What yeah, are you doing for dinner? For dinner, yeah. Man made what are you doing for right dinner? Off the bat, right? No, it okay, wasn't yeah. a pass. It uh, was well, an well, invitation. Yeah, invitation to a dinner. <laughs> right, I'm sorry. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then we got mm. to be good buddies. Yeah, right. Yeah. But now you must have got... How did you get to New York from Arizona? No, 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 honey. I was in I was in New York at that time. You came to New York. came to New York. But you and that's when I ended up in, in Arizona. The, the book was And did you come in search of him? You went to New York because you read his book. Yes, and I you came, wanted to do an interview yeah, with him. I had become a member of the American Humanist Association. Okay, and that's how I got to be a chaplain. Also, okay. that's how you do. are a chaplain. Yeah, you give I weddings. Mean, you do I, weddings. I do yeah. ceremonies for yeah. non-religious or whatever people want. The important thing is what they're saying to are each other. Are you able other. to wed them legally? Yeah. Yeah, my signature is good. I've been practicing my signature. You have, right? <laughs> okay, right. Good yeah, for you. I'm registered with did the... You do, did you wed John Kowalski? Do you remember John Kowalski? I don't know. And his lovely lady? Uh -huh. Did you do the reading for that in Central Park? A lot Maybe. of weddings have taken place oh, social yeah. in Central Park, right? right. Like by a oh, waterfall yeah, or something. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Oh, okay, that, anyway. That's great fun. How did... The, did you meet him... Did you? What was the day you met? How did it happen? What's the set the scene? Mm. When you're coming from Arizona with the uh -huh. book, you're right. inspired by it. Uh -huh. You're inspired by your new understanding of humanism. Right. He's written the book on humanism. Yes. You're inspired by it. Now, yeah. I'm going to New York. Uh -huh. And did you communicate with him ahead of time? Yes. Did you set up an appointment? Tell yes. us how it happened. Uh -huh. Well, um, he invited me to come and do the interview, you, wait, and I came you with must my have been, cameras. Did you get in touch with him first? Yes. You did by mail or by, there was no email then? You had to send no, him a letter? there was email. Yeah, no. I had, it was a postal. Remember they used to have a thing called mail? <laughs> you could read that thing you put, yeah. Oh, it, my goodness. Yeah. You uh, lick it and stick it yeah, and, right, <laughs> and right, put right. it in the box. But you sent him yeah. a letter saying, yes. I'm... Uh, I, Beth Lamont, I would. And did you have a form already, letter then? Do you remember? No, whether we were did getting, not. I wrote were you, it from were my you heart. Were soliciting other socialists and so forth? Or no. Be, did you have no. a going thing? No, I was a member of the board of directors of the American Humanist yeah, Association. The, I'm talking about the video part. You're the a video. video. You were a videographer. Yes. Uh, That's where we were really interested in. Independent, here. yeah. Yeah. Completely independent. And do you remember what uh, what equipment you had? It was big, heavy equipment. It was and big stuff. and heavy. Did you have to have people to help <laughs> you lug it around and everything? I did a pretty good job. Rolling cart and all. Yes. You know about Rosie the Riveter. I want to feel the. I want to feel the. Well, I heard you like. Yeah. All right. Oh, well, See if I can right. put your hand, put your arm down. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> no chance, no chance. Oh, that's Anyway, right. so was it a happy... But, would, would honey, you, I was going ring, around... No, don't you see? It's like a movie scene. I rang his yeah. bell. You rang the bell? He opened up. Uptown in New York. Yes. He lived uh -huh. up in the West right. End. Right, right. Yeah. right, And did he come to the door? Did yes, you he meet did. Him? And yes, how did, did it go? Um, Do you remember the day well? Is it inscribed in your memory well, the meeting of the No, man? it was like the beginning of a new world, though. Uh -huh. It was just yeah. so amazing. Those are the meetings with remarkable people that people right. have written about. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, probably 82. I think it was 82. 82 that that uh -huh, happened. 1982, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, so and he you worked and together. And you, 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 sp you, did you do an interview that very first meeting when you had yes. with him? Yes. Yes. And did you have somebody mm -hmm. there running the camera for you? No, I was doing it myself. You were doing. You were because be, it you was were on my shoulder. The camera no, and you were not to. behind it. It was right here, and up on my shoulder. Do you have that tape? Yes, I do. You I do. Wish I, I wish I brought it today. Oh my lord! I, how I long do. was the? How long was yeah. the piece? Um, about half an hour. Half an hour. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you're and talking to him and right saying, my name studio. is Beth Lamont, mm -hmm. and I'm happy to have read your book or something? Uh, yes. What's something it? Something like yeah. that. And was uh -huh. it, was it uh, Eureka meeting? Yes, it was. Both ways? Yes, Were him and so. for you? And then he invited me out to dinner. Yeah. We went to What'd the Russian, te Russian, tea room. Russian, Russian tea room. Russian tea room. That's uh -huh. nice, yeah. yeah. You remember? And that yeah. was great fun. That was a, that, and there, and therefore, uh, that was a, uh, a magic moment, huh? It was. Yeah. It was. Um, he sent me to the Soviet Union with my camera. 
he had always made contributions to promoting enduring peace. Yeah, was he was there. a peacenik, yeah. Right, uh -huh. but he, and yeah. he'd always made contributions, and they would always invite him but to go on the Volga he's, peace. He, he was group. from the upper classes of American society. That was the, the Lamont, the Doherty uh, Observatory he, he financed and everything like that. And he was involved with a, a lot of big time bankers and so forth, was he not? I don't know that he was involved, but he was the recipient of Wall Street um, wealth. And he would be his, recipient his of it for what reason? For To invest? Be because he was the son yeah. of Thomas William Lamont. Okay, who's Thomas William Lamont? That is his father. Yeah, I know that. And his but father what was, was his father's his father, calling. His father was a partner of J. Pierpont Morgan. Oh, well, that's nobody. What do you nobody. mean? Nobody. That was nobody. <laughs> that's just a Pierpont Morgan. You know, that's nobody. Nobody yeah. of substance. No. But I, yeah. I think I'm his. Kidding. I'm so yeah. proud of his yeah. father. His father was a self-made man. He yeah. worked. I think he. Um, Worked in the dining room, uh -huh. you know. Oh, really? Harvard, his uh -huh. Harvard education. It, he wasn't from that. wealth. Yeah, no, a lot of he people from determined. wealth do that. It's uh -huh. thought of as a nice discipline to work in that way. And I think literature, and uh, that was his forte. Uh -huh. And he went to work with one of the um, newspapers uh -huh. in Manhattan. Yeah. And wrote such p compelling. Um, um, copy, copy, right? Yeah, yeah. That it came to the attention of J. Pierpont Morgan, really? and he said, "I want that man on my team." I'll be damned! Isn't they, that something? It, that was before and he knew you. Oh, yeah, way this before. Was, honey, this was way back in the turn of the century. Yeah, right. Corliss was born in 1902, oh, okay, and his okay. father was getting established in the 1800s. Oh, I see. So that's right. way I see. back. Oh, I see. Of course, yeah. way sorry, back. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. yeah, right, right. And but I wasn't even thought of that Corliss was What was Corliss? Uh, Corliss was a socialist, um, and he was a pa he was a humanist. Humanist, and a socialist has been has been so um, maligned. Yeah, yeah. yeah. evil yeah. empire, yeah. all the negative things, because it's not consistent with a capitalist economic system. Right. right. Let me tell you about yeah, 1917, please. 100 right. years ago. Yeah, that's 100 right. years that's ago, right? right. Yeah, tell me. Uh, Corliss's war. father yeah. uh, was in Europe mm -hmm. and investing, I guess, with the bank. Yeah. And I don't know what kinds of investments these were. Uh -huh. um, a grandson, um, Ted Lamont, wrote about um, the ambassador from Wall Street. Okay. Uh -huh. And that was a lot to do with. But while he was over there in 1917, uh -huh. Um, he met up with his um, Harvard classmate, William Boyce Thompson, who okay. was with the Red Cross. Okay. And the Red Cross was mm -hmm. delivering supplies to the freezing, tattered, hungry um, soldiers yeah, on the Russian that front. That war was such a horror. And they were still horror. holding out against yeah. the onslaught of the Germans. Yeah. You know. Oh, that was still raging? The well, yeah. th I think that yeah. um, the Bolshevik Revolution was just happening uh -huh. in October. Mm. And this was near Christmas time, mm -hmm. so I don't know what, but they were saying, you know, why should we be fighting the Tsar's war, yeah. you know, right. and let's fight our own yeah, war. Right, right, yeah. right, 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 and so right, that's what right. the revolution was inspiring. Yeah. That's a moment like now, yeah. I think it Storming is. Storming the Winter Palace, yeah, that St. Petersburg, right. yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. But um, anyway, so William Boyce Thompson said, uh, you know, Tom, we should be supportive mm -hmm. of this new budding regime. Mm -hmm. It looks like they're going to prevail, mm. and uh, we should be supportive of them. Uh -huh. and, and Tom said, well, you know, Bill, that was, that's a good idea. And they went to talk to Prime Minister David Lloyd George. Wow. And I quipped that he probably said, hmm, by George, that's a good idea. <laughs> Go and convince Woodrow Wilson. Uh -huh. And yeah. so Corliss Where remembers telling the story yeah. about getting um, the yellow telegram, Dad's yeah. coming home for Christmas, yeah. oh boy, and Corliss is 15, home from school for Christmas. Uh -huh. But Dad wasn't coming for Christmas, he was coming to get down to Washington. Uh -huh. And that's what the plan was. Uh -huh. They went down to Washington, and I don't know what all the prevailing things that in Woodrow Wilson's yeah, he was advisors. in a very strange position there. He at the was, end of it, and yeah. he was trying to yeah. do um, 
um, the forerunner of the United Nations. Yeah, right. I think yeah, yeah League, League, of, of, League of Nations, yeah, right, right, trying right. to be yeah. you know independent, yeah. and there were so many things prevailing upon him, uh -huh. and um, the he had an advisor, and I keep thinking of all the advisors to Trump now, oh. and this advisor was really allergic to those goddamn atheist oh. communists. Oh. Rah, 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 rah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was Edward M. House, H-O-U-S-E. -E. Yeah. Google, you could Google yeah, it, right, you can find right. House. Yeah. But he was so fearful of and representing the capitalist economic yeah. system, uh -huh. and they didn't want to hear this, workers of the world unite. You have nothing to lose but your chains. <laughs> Yeah. That was a yeah. battle cry, yeah. and it, it was, could have yeah. gone like wildfire. Mm -hmm. And all this century, mm -hmm. from 1917 mm -hmm. to 2017, mm -hmm. that's right. You know, it's a century. It's that's been right. I hadn't trying, made yeah, that connection. Yeah. To trying to stamp out these socialist ideas, yeah. that of promoting the worker, protecting the workers, mm -hmm. and now including protecting planet Earth that is in in such. Yeah, it's another Scare. moment of crisis, yeah. My God, you know, we will not survive. This is something I wanted to, wanted okay, to tell you about. Okay. How about the Code of Ethics? Yeah, sure. Can I talk? Well, I can show it. It's a bunch of print. Yeah. We can't code, read it, well, but okay, it's but there. Code, read, is, read a little bit. I can hold it up. If you can really yeah. come in tight focus, you might be able to read it at the top. It's a Code of Ethics for a for corporation. Uh -huh. And uh, I can't go through all that print. But Give it's me just a summary. A Give me summary the, uh, you know, the at synopsis. every board meeting uh -huh. where decisions are made. Yeah, right. Those who are responsible for making the can decisions. I keep this? Please, please. Can I pass it around? Oh, please. Can I publish and, it out? Yes, you can. You and on the back, on yes. the back is a fun thing too. Oh, yeah. Sanitizing socialism <laughs> and needing to create a new kind of capitalism with a conscience. It, what an oxymoron! Oxymoron! <laughs> what an oxymoron. Yeah. Yeah. This is your this but is your work. Yes, of this course. This is your print. Yes, of course. You wrote it. Yes. Okay, yeah. tell us what it's about. Uh, I mean, well, what are some of, all, of the highlights? Yeah, the code you can't of, get it all read. Yeah, but the code of ethics yeah. is just considering. Um, I think the Indians have or Native Americans talk about three generations. Well, but yeah, at the every three were world, wampum. Yeah, yeah. Iroquois. They yeah. they informed. Uh, Right. Uh, Benjamin Franklin, uh, a large part of the uh, exactly. good parts of the yes. Declaration of Independence. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They informed it. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the idea of what the world will be like when your descendants are dealing with it. I think some descendants and down if, the line. Yeah. Yeah. That's and if responsible. You're, yeah. is responsibility. Yes. That's a watchword. Yeah. And if you are making decisions that are despoiling the earth, ruining the streams, you know, polluting the air, all of these scary things. The ice caps are melting. They are? And yeah. they are. Yeah. And so every decision that you make, investing in this, mining, um, oh, right. all, all of the things that, and sending the jobs where, you know, people are, you're slave paying people wages, pennies yeah. Yeah, instead of, of slavery. yeah, all yeah. of those things. Hey. And so all the decisions that are made at every board meeting yeah. needs to be thinking about what the earth will be like, what you're, the decision makers, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, what the world will be like then. Yeah. The island nations will be engulfed, will be you know, our atmosphere you're despoiled and the, all of this. The climate change you're talking all, about now. All of People are denying things. it. They're trying to they deny it. it, it yeah. It's real. <coughs> Amy, yeah. uh, Amy follows, Amy, Amy Goodman follows yes. that carefully. And uh, Naomi Klein writes well. Of course. On. Yeah, Naomi yeah. Klein. Uh -huh. 400,000 people filled the, the West End Avenue. Of New York, I love it. I was were out you there. In that parade? I, you know, were you I, at was the lead of it? Were I was out there. I was out there. I think I was. I'm uh, maybe in the middle of it. I was yeah. amazed at that. And you know that what I was doing? So quick. I was yeah. always okay, giving up. I want okay. this. Uh, oh, you okay. may have it. Yeah, uh -huh. I want. But I, I, I want to distribute it around. Oh, Do you mind please. if I make copies and distribute I'm, it? Oh, I'd be so proud. Can I steal this? Can I steal this and get it distributed? I'd be so proud. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But. I, I keep insisting yeah. that socialism mm. has been sanitized. Mm. And Bernie Sanders, 
bless your heart. You like Bernie, do you? I, yeah. I love Bernie. Yeah. And Corliss did, too. I, I think, think if he, he had knew. won, if he had been able to win the nomination, he would have won the presidency. Well, I do believe the, that. Oh, the, but the system is so insane. Well, yeah, you've got intense, what they call vested interest, right? And yeah. not only... Um, what did Corliss think about the vested interest that, uh, uh, you I, know? He, yeah, he was opposed to um, uh, Citizens United that yeah. gave you know, corporations, unlimited. Yeah. The, it, it should be strictly limited, the yeah. amount of money. Foreign money, yeah. corporation money can come into and sway the decision-making. And what people see on the television screen yeah. or what they're hearing, they incorporate it. In this image of Trump, being the strong man, and he's going to do these wonderful things. And I think this inspired so many people who would see the capitalist system is not working yeah, for them. Yeah, I think them. so, yeah. And <coughs> then he was speaking to the same he people. Was a, he was, a, he was a, uh, a very, very dynamic speaker. Yeah. And he took full advantage of, for, of do you tweet? No, you don't do no, I don't do, you do, do Facebook. Do you no, do none of media? those social media. But I get out in the street. <laughs> but he knew how to use the tweet. Yeah. He he took over and virtually the entire country I think with so. tweets. And every, and every outrageous time he tweeted, thing. I'm going to give a talk, and he was a be spellbinder. Yeah, he could really do it. Every, and every outrageous. And all the media followed him. It, it was yeah, all free. The, all, all free. free all free. 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 Yeah. free uh, yeah. Every explosion. outrageous it was thing he said. It was a brilliant campaign on his part. It really. Really you was. have to get rid of but that. I but I love what Bernie Bernie inspired, and you know well, I think you're if a, Hillary you're a humanist commie, you know I you mean, know so you're gonna like you're gonna like <laughs> Bernie obviously yeah. you know well and, and you're this not a commie is, you're not a commie you're well, a humanist well yeah. the the thing is but I you're think for the any, people yeah. the people yeah. and the planet yeah. but any government that mm. protects itself. Mm. more than it protects the people and the people's right to know, the people's right to is assemble. Is that every government in the world, Any really? government, in the, I don't care Are what they... Are they all like that, though? If they, I don't care what they They're call themselves. They're all the vested interest. Yeah. If they protect themselves more than the people, they have become totalitarian well, and on the way to fascism. Indictment. Would that be true of almost every government that exists? Any government that does not protect its people and protects itself and its secret. That, whether they do or don't. How do we measure the uh, outcome? But it seems to me in terms of realpolitik and everything, it's always whoever's got the power rules. Well, it that's the golden that rule. <laughs> whoever has the golden rule. That's an olden Go rule, yeah. not a golden rule. Oh, yeah, an right. olden rule. We've got to get rid of it. But we've got people power. You talk about yeah. social media, mm -hmm. but we have magic gadgets now. We have people power. Do you we have can a smartphone? Uh, well, it's kind of a dumb phone. It's a flip. <laughs> yes. um, I once had a sewing machine that was smarter than me. Really? <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah. But this is a little flip thing. Yeah, and, right. But I can I can communicate with you. I can call yeah. Harold Channer. Yeah, 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 we did. We talked. Yeah, that's that right. Good. Yeah, uh -huh. and that's so good. Well, more but about Mr. Uh, Lamont. Lam yes. Yeah, you, you guys were really fun. I remember meeting briefly two or three or four times. We had to do with video. You were up there in the Upper West Side. Mm -hmm. He was a marvelous presence. Um, yeah, marvelous guy. Marvelous. And uh, his le his legend r goes on well, with your work. Thing. And so you're well, carrying on his I'm work trying also, to, yeah. right? Well, you two were a team. I think so. Really? Yeah, I'm really yeah. so, I, so That's proud. That's good. I think it's so good if you can be you. working together on well, the same chose me wavelength. Well. <laughs> and he you, chose he, me well. And you, he could recognize And you, he. Well, he wrote you, he chose you, you chose him. Yeah. And it was that it wasn't right. a magic kind of thing like it that. It was. But yeah. you know, all a lot of, of his people years say that, but it really was, it seems it with you. It really yeah. was. That's all right. of his years mm -hmm. he was focused on the written word on the pages of a book. He was a hell of a writer, wasn't I'll he? I'll say. Yeah. I'll say. Yeah, yeah. But it was so amazing. That was the technology. Uh, right. The printing yeah. press. Yeah. And dissemination of the written word. Yeah, and yeah. then came a new, a new era. Yeah, and, and so now we're coming to a new era. Well, let me tell you mm. of the transitory, yeah. because um, uh, getting his image and his books onto the internet yeah. was a magic moment. Yeah, you got for him that, to right. be and, and well. And somebody who can came get to, to work. That? Oh, they can go to We're going to let them know at the end of this program with All the right. graphic, but why don't okay. you talk about how people can get in touch with uh, your work 
All and right. the association you're with, uh -huh. Humanist Association. Yeah, American it, Humanist Mc Association. And there's a website there, for that? Oh, definitely. What is it? Uh -huh. Just say it now. We're going to put it at the uh, end. Well, it would be uh, um, American Humanist Association. We're in, located dot in net, Washington. Dot net or something? Probably, or dot org. Maybe dot, dot org. org uh -huh. yeah. And then the Humanist Society of Metropolitan New York. We meet at the Moonstruck Restaurant. I've been there a few times. You've been That's there. a great yes. venue. I think That's so. We have the whole venue. upstairs they, yeah, they right. give us. And we're, yeah. we're going to be talking about, yeah. uh, on, on this Thursday, we're yeah. going to be talking about, uh, my part of it is um, uh, sanctuary cities. Oh, yeah, right, for the immigrants. For, yeah. for the immigrants, yeah. yeah. And word. I think New York is a firm sanctuary city. I in, think, yeah. But... There are so many things they're going on. They're going to try on. and attack it, aren't they? Right. They're, they're I think moved. in Texas, they're yeah. already saying they yeah. will punish people who don't obey the issues that come from Washington. Yeah. And I am invoking the Nuremberg Principles okay. about, about obeying. Uh, yeah. I want people, the American Patriot Protection Act. Okay. And I've got a letter to Bernie Sanders here. And... Um, Good for you. Did you send it? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. And how to write it persuasive. Do you know him? Have you been in touch with him? Yes. Oh, yes. good. But I'd like to be in more in touch with yeah, him. Yeah, right. Uh, but with bill to be introduced into Congress for the purpose of protecting officials, officers, soldiers, employees who refuse to carry out unethical and inhumane orders. That's a, that's these, an issue that's burning right today in yeah, Washington. Right it this really moment. Is, right at the moment. These yeah. courageous people must be protected. We must protect, them, prevent them from being punished with a year in jail. Uh -huh. That was the big yeah, threat. Yeah, if yeah. you don't obey and yeah. go ahead and arrest those refugees, that's those the Nure, you call it the Nuremberg. Uh, well, yeah, the Nuremberg Did you principles. Your thing is yeah, Nuremberg? yeah, yeah. The mm. Nuremberg principles. Yeah, talk to them. Well, um, when after. Um, we overwhelmed the Holocaust, yeah, the Holocaust and Awful. all the hide hideous, Awful. horrible things. And a tribunal was set up in Nuremberg, yeah. Germany, yeah. and the judges were bringing the um, German right. officials and, to, to, and was his name the Jackson? officials. Was it judge? I'm oh, sure. do you know the judge? No, I'm not sure. No, I'm but not sure. but yeah. but I'd like They've to know more about. They made a great film about, about it. Yeah. Oh, that that yeah. would be good. But go ahead, yeah. Talk, Spencer talk. Tracy? I think so, yeah. 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 But the I idea was these German officers came before the, the tribunal and said, well, we're not guilty. Following we were just orders. obeying orders. Yeah, we right. just did what we were told. Yeah, we were following orders, which right. is a thing like a soldier does. Right. Yeah. And bang, yeah. the judges said, no way. Yeah. You have to have the courage to disobey, to refuse to obey an inhumane unethical order. And now, does that apply across the board? Does that apply to citizens of the United States of America? Yes, and, and we are guilty of war crimes. Yeah. Yeah. We bomb yeah. civilian populations. Yeah, right, right. So many things that are scary. Yeah. Anyway, the Nuremberg Principles, and I don't know that U.S. especially, um, the International Criminal Court yeah. made a document that we have not signed. Yeah. So... But principle one, any person who commits an act which constitutes a crime under international law is responsible and therefore liable to punishment. And a whole list of You would like people to be responsible to human rights. Exactly. And, 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 to, and also to be caring for the least among us. Exactly. And most of all, what our great spiritual leaders have always said, and been widely uh, ignored by the political exactly. class du jour, and right. continue, yes. by and large, at the behest of those who would argue for realpolitik and whoever's got the gun rules. <sighs> and that's been the that's been the that's you been know, the that's been the house offer and so forth. That that's what they think, and I it's got a certain understanding because people conquer each other all I over the place and set I up their own rules. I know. think the most heinous crime mm. of the capitalist economic system is that it foments, promotes war. War is profitable. And when it you is. talk about the yeah. piece of pie that that takes out of the U.S. Well, um, it's, 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 it's um, 60, uh, no, uh, I, uh, you know, uh, David McReynolds is great, the War Resistors League, he's got a graph, uh -huh. and it's something on the order of uh, a pie graph like yeah. this. And the budget of the United States of America 
is something like 65, 68 oh, percent is military. That's shameful. You got a little shameful. thing like this, Social Security, a little Social thing for the homeless, a yeah. little thing like this. Education, and the war, medical. War, military is 62 yeah. percent or 65 percent of the of the budget of the United States of America. And they're just, they're just, they did something. What was it? They just did a thing where they're going to throw people off Medicaid uh, and they're going to send something like, is it $800 million going to the richest people that exist in our country and take people off Medicaid who need the, uh, you know, a, 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 a charitable act of healing yeah. and so forth. Yeah. So that's something that ought to be uh, addressed and yeah. uh, questioned and uh, and the sanctuary city thing you're yes. for, right? That's right. coming into right. being right now as we talk. Right. So you're still following the interest du jour yeah. I mean, of, the, of the moment. I, yeah. I think that the, a bill in Congress could be worded in such a way. Uh, my own son keeps saying, Mom, why are you so critical of U.S. foreign policy? We're the good guys. Don't you know it? We're the good guys. And I'm saying, the people, we are the good people. We share and we're protective of each other, mm -hmm. but the military mindset. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> well, it's called real politique. Well, it's also called the military industrial real complex. complex. Yeah, right. And uh, Mr. President Eisenhower, Eisenhower, warned, Eisenhower against, uh, warned against it. Yeah, he did and indeed. it has its, it, like it operates it out of the reading, basement yeah. of the Pentagon or yeah. something. It mm -hmm. has its own mindset. Yeah. And you have to have enemies. Mm -hmm. It's quite true. If you took the enemies away, that would be. Um, yeah. I don't think they could almost handle a, a world justly order. I mean, a, a just world order, it wouldn't work hardly well, or something in the happen? minds. Because yeah. everything is based upon insufficiency or scarcity yeah. in material terms. Yeah. That there is not enough. You have to realize this, people. But there is enough. There, there is, is enough not now. There enough. Is enough now. So for someone to get a little bit of uh, cream in their coffee or anything, any little benefit, they have to take it from somebody else. It's called zero sum. Mm -mm. And zero sum yeah. thinking. That's obsolete. No, it isn't obsolete. It mm. informs the whole political process. Mm -hmm. It seems to me that's something. So if it's not going to come out of here, we're going to take the money out of here. And it has to come out of here. And that whole kind of thinking. Oh, and we're yeah. getting to a point where there's going to have to be a realization that we can have a system that serves the interests of everybody. And that is maybe <laughs> newly possible to humanity oh my in God. a way that's only dawning in not our in our socialism. generation. Socialism, oh. not that socialism oh. or whatever it's well, called. But, yeah, whatever but way. I think the ideals of socialism, and they've been so besmirched. They yeah. really have yeah. evil empire, and to try to put it down. But it's workers honor the workers, and and protect the families. Well, we talked about wars. that. We talked a little bit about coming up to it. I think the robots are about to take over, and I think it'd be great. No, I think it'd be well, great if the robots take over all the work. Well, but who's going to pay? So the people, all you got to do is get some money to them. So they, they're going to have right. a problem when the robots take away all the work and the meaning of the labor theory of value that informs mightily the wet, the left. I think they're going to be in trouble. They're going to have to have an alternate way. And Mr. Peckety of uh, France, he's the one that all the economists are are, mm -hmm. are cottoning on to now. Oh. They're going to have a problem getting um, effective demand into the overall system. They're going to have to get some way of getting money to people to be able to clear the market of what can be produced of good things. They're going to have a, uh, they're, they're going to cut, cut out the demand side of the equation. They're going to have to have an alternate way of determining, uh, of getting money to people when the people are free from having to be a wage slave. They're going to get freed from wage slavery. You, you told me the story of Ford Motor. And well, Ford Motor was just... And thing, yeah. you said the people have to have wages <coughs> enough to buy a car. Yeah. Tell right. me that, tell me that story. Well, there's nothing to be told. I'm from Detroit, and uh, uh, Mr. Ford was a, f a figure in Detroit. Mm -hmm. And Detroit was well-placed, Masabi, ore, and coal, and everything. And uh, he... he uh, had in, a, in my grandmother was the first woman to graduate from the University of Michigan Medical College, 
And the Great story grandma. is uh, that uh, Mr. Ford, when he was a youngster, tinkered in their garage as a young boy. He was inspired. And then he, you know, he, but he went out and he built the Ford Motor Company, and then that became uh, really important for fighting the fascists because it was the military. Willow Run and so forth, they had a capability to turn out materials of war uh -huh. to fight the fascists and so yeah. forth. And then at the end of the, uh, end of the war, Detroit was the uh, the highest per capita income in all of the United Isn't that States. Amazing. But yeah. now they've had trouble uh, and everything. But he he started the assembly line and everything. But mm -hmm. now that's all going to be done by robots. Robots mm -hmm. are coming en masse in the lieu, in the lee of the uh, information technology, which is not going to go away. And they're oh, going to be doing away with the kind of labor things by which they distributed buying power to the masses, which through their labor as wage earners or wage slaves, they're called by some. And that's a major problem confronting humanity, and they're going to have to have an alternate way of distributing demand or buying power to the people. Distributing, yes. Yeah, no, they well, have to get demand sufficient. into the hands of the people. People need money in order to be able to buy the things, the good life that can be produced right. increasingly. Yeah. So that's going to call for a, an end to the real traditional right. thinking of left-right. Right. You know, right here, we are in the belly of the beast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. there's something new down there Listen, by the big bull. What? Yeah. Oh, is there something but, new? We only got we only got about two minutes left. Okay. okay? Go well, fast. Talk. All right. Haiku. Okay. Real fast. Fast, the, fast. 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 All fast, right. Fast. Hey, that big brass bull. Yeah. Yeah. I know the big okay. brass bull. Well, there's a new thing now. Okay. A little girl, and she's got her chin out and her hands on her, and she is standing there confronting that big brass bull. What do you mean? Bull. There's a picture of a girl doing no, that? It no. No. Did somebody put up she, a little a statue? Yeah, she is a statue. Oh, good. And That's it's really called sad. Fearless Girl. Oh. And I love that because she is challenging the onslaught that's running over the people and stampeding and and we're here is in it, the belly is, is of the beast. Is there pictures of that? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, it really? Google, I have not Google seen Google it. Google it. Google. Google. Fearless Girl. For and, this girl. I'm going to do her. it as soon as I get home. Okay, yeah. all right. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah, we could have put that up as our logo, right? Uh, that would be good. We could have put it up as the Be Beth Lamont logo. <laughs> Fearless Girl. Fearless Girl. Yeah. Yeah. Challenging we, bullfighter. Right. We have work to do. We have Bull work to do. Bologna fighter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're right here. This is the centerpiece of the universe. I think, I think. it's true. The, the crossroads yeah, of yeah, the universe. Right. And it's shameful that they're hungry and homeless right here and in so New lack, York. And there's so lack of vision of what we're going to do. It's very worrying that they And there's that something that can be done. Uh -huh. It should be unlawful to destroy usable food. And this is another thing. Um, uh, producers are protecting. They're so afraid they'll be vulnerable to lawsuit or something. Yeah, yeah. And the food, sh it should be a, a state law, a city law, that edible food should not be destroyed, but it must be recycled. Beginning, we got to get a new, okay. uh, got to get a document out. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you, my you. darling. Thank, Thank you. Your pleasure to Thank have the you. perceptions of Corliss Keep doing Lamont, good things. Who is a good wonderful, things. wonderful force for the for forces things. of good in yeah. the universe. And the widow of, uh, uh, of, uh, Corliss Lamont, that gi giant of a human. Giant, giant and, of a human. Uh, thank you very much for coming of the in world. for all the good work. Yeah. Lefties and of the there world. There you unite. got all the contact for this lovely lady. Mm -hmm. So be in touch with her. Get down to the meetings that she calls. Get to her website and uh, follow this woman. She's a real inspiration for a lot of people of good mind. We got work and to we, do. You want to get, but we got, you got to get Bernie down to one got, of your meetings. We need right? to get Bernie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He can and get some. He yeah. can build up some audience for you. Yeah. Okay. Thanks yeah. for you, and we'll be coming back right. again uh, tomorrow. Thanks, to, thanks, Thank Beth, you. for coming in. Thank you. Thank my, you for inviting me. My pleasure. My pleasure.